Hello, my very dear audio friends. It's me, Paul, back again in my studio, Warsaw, Poland. This is my humble YouTube channel and my new setup, because today, yes, we're gonna test out Behringer Monopoly, but just not test it, but we're gonna, wait, test it against Korg Monopoly plugin. I've seen some mangling of this against uh, original Korg hardware, but I haven't seen much about this hardware against Korg software. So, which one's gonna be better for your daily production? Does analog matter at all? Is this Behringer thing any good? We're gonna find out today. And if you think this channel is a cool place, you can subscribe somewhere here. You can support me somewhere here. You can also like this video and comment on it because I'm really waiting to start a discussion on this one. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, the, today's setup is really different because I want you to see both my hardware and my software, which is on the screen, of course. Mm, and guys, I leveled them a bit, I tuned them accordingly, mm, and we can start. And I've got the first oscillator on my hardware. And here goes the software. It seems louder, like subjectively, the software. But, yeah, the console shows me that they are even, they are matched. Anyway, guys, this is the first oscillator. Mm, of course, not much difference. Then, I'm gonna add the second one. This is interesting. To make it really in tune, I have to make it a bit counterclockwise on the hardware. Let's say like this. The third oscillator now. There is some difference. What does the mixer, mixer show now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's say more or less the same. Of course, not much difference. Maybe mm, uh, the hardware so far is a bit like less in the midst of, of some, some tone. Not really, but now I can hear they are kind of out of tune. Yeah, seems like the Monopoly needs additional calibration, the hardware. But okay, like, we're good. And let's add the... Yeah, of course, because this is fully analog. Like, tuning it is way more difficult, I would say, and I'm having more, like, micro differences on the hardware, but they are very comparable. Yeah, let's say we're there. Guys, hmm, of course, this is a very simple patch, like, not much difference. Uh, let's switch to... Pulse with modulation everywhere now. Okay. Still very comparable. What should we do next, guys? Filter.
Yeah, so the knob calibration is totally different um, on hardware and software. I'm not surprised with it, like it happens pretty often. So there is some difference I can hear that maybe the software version sounds a bit compressed, like there was kind of a limiter somewhere, like all the decay mm, is simply subjectively mm, longer. The general tone is louder. I don't know whether there's any compression there going on or these are just the envelopes working in a different way. Guys, anyway, maybe let's try to add... Portamento is a simple thing. And I would still... Uh, I'm trying to detune the hardware a bit because, right? Uh, on some settings, uh, with filter envelope kind of down, starts sounding kind of different. Yes, and this is the first difference. And if you ask me about the analog, warm, organic feel, well, frankly, I've got it rather here than there. I have to put some effort into software to make it sound more organic, I would say. If you play these two to me, I would seriously uh, choose in a blind test this one as a more analog sound. Okay, guys, mm, what if? Okay. Generally, Monopoly sounds a bit darker. I tweaked, I calibrated the filter in the back because this is what the manual says. Uh, the filter cutoff is calibrated the way it cuts around 7.1 or 7.4 kilohertz. Uh, Berninger said that this is how the original Monopoly left the factory, so you can recalibrate it in the back. Anyway, the sound seems kind of similar right now. Mm, but guys where I would suppose most difference is actually here. I'm going to turn so-called effects on. And let's try to get back to something like this, so that we... Guys, it's definitely different. This one is dirtier. Mm, I would say way dirtier. Which one is closer to the original? Mm, frankly, I'm not going to guess it. Uh, but this is, uh, again, this is more or gives me more organic feel, definitely. And guys, this is exactly what I supposed when you start modulating things more, when you make some complex stuff that uh, requires more analog circuitry involved, then more and more differences come out um, between hardware and software. So let's tweak it even more. And maybe... Uh, 
don't ask me why is it this is like this, but definitely I can start hearing that the um, LFO uh, is digital on the software. Um, this is actually the problem I'm having with my subsequent 37. I can have frequency modulation on my filter using LFO on this synth. But the LFO on subsequent 37 is digital and it means that the FM for the filter from this LFO doesn't sound nice, doesn't sound organic, guys. And I suppose this is somehow the same problem. The LFO as it's digital, it's somehow quantized. When it's fast, it starts sounding very mm, artificial. Yeah. Anyway, let's slow it down. Maybe let's switch all to this and let's turn off the noise. Like this. Whoa! Right, I'm trying to see whether my settings are the same. Yeah, to make it more interesting now, the software sounds darker while the hardware sounds brighter. Mm, guys, if you ask me, there is a difference. And if I was about to choose for any reason, I would still choose this. This is way more organic on some settings. It's dirtier, it's less predictable. Mm, and yes, it's simply analog. While I have to tell you that Monopoly does the great job it is some kind of artificial on some settings as I could hear, hopefully you too. Yeah, and I suppose this is a software thing. Please don't kill me in the comments if you think differently, but this is what I hear. And maybe one more setting of some kind? That's cool. Guys, yeah, maybe we should also test the... Let's turn the effects off. Mm, resonance of the filter. And... Okay. Well, mm, I'm trying to figure out whether maybe I'm not fair with some settings, but... Resonance is 10, intensity is 0. Okay, that's how this filter really is. Uh, the peak, the resonance peak seems narrower here and it's way way smoother of course because this one is quantized to digital midi purely and this one is pure analog remember there's no digital control on any of these there's no midi control this is full analog which of course comes with a lots of shortcomings because if you want to automate anything you can't if you want to save your patch 
You can't. You can take photos, snapshots uh, of your manual, fully analog patches. So it's a trade-off, some, some functionality instead of some analogness and uh, organic feel. But wow, I did not expect the resonance to be so crazy different on both. What about... Oh, guys, we know quite a lot already. I'm not gonna test, like, everything, because this video is probably gonna be, again, totally painfully long, so let's avoid it. And you know what? Let's sum the things up as we are now. Am I a huge fan of Behringer clones, guys? I'm not. Two years ago, a year ago, I never thought I'm gonna get myself one, but as they say in Poland, only a cow doesn't change its mind. So yeah, I did change my mind out of pure curiosity, probably. I just wanted to try it out. Will I keep it? I have no idea because I cannot automate it. I cannot save any patches. And I'm a producer like thinking about pure effectiveness in my work. Tweaking this is fun. And if I were to choose between the plugin and this, I would choose this. And that probably applies not only to this pair, like the plugin and the hardware, but it, it applies actually to probably most, if not all, analog versus uh, digital clones or original hardware versus any um, digital clone. There are some areas like LFOs, uh, heavy modulation, that gonna sound different on uh, analog and gonna some, sound somehow more organic, more real, some kind of smoother also, not quantized in a digital way. Also, I'm very surprised with the resonance of the filter on the analog versus the digital. I didn't expect the digital to appear so weak when compared, guys. That's it for today. I hope you liked it. If you wish me to do more tests like this, some hardware or hardware versus software, let me know in the comments and I hope to see you very soon. Bye.